Hi everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be using one of the new dies that I picked up in my recent haul. Um, so this is the Lawn Fawn Giant Happy Birthday to You die. Um, so I just want to show you, this is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card, which is the size card we're going to be creating today. And I really just want to show you how big this is. So you can see that that just sits on there and it's just going to take up most of the card. And I really love that because we want the sentiment to be kind of the main focal point sometimes so you want to have something sort of slightly bigger so we're going to be using this to create our card today and I'm going to be using a few other long form products that I've not actually shared with you as of yet um, when I mentioned in my previous video about uh, winning this competition again so I haven't uploaded that video yet but I will sort of talk about all the products um, that I did receive but I really sort of just want to start actually using some of them so I'm going to bring a few of the products into today's uh, video and for today's card project all going to be long form products so for our background I picked out a piece of uh, gingham cardstock this is the gotta have a gingham uh, six by six inch paper pad so some really uh, really lovely sort of pastel colors in here um, both going diagonally and then just sort of straight as normal so we're going to use that for our background and then for just some additional stamping I've got this uh, dandy day stamp set here. So we've got um, some little mice sort of uh, um, having some fun with some dandelions. So we're just gonna use that just to kind of decorate uh, sort of around our sentiment. So the first thing I wanna do is just stamp a couple of these mice out and I'm gonna be using now my mini Misty. So I showed you this in my birthday haul video. This is the first time I'm gonna be using it and I'm really excited to sort of see how well this works uh, for stamping such small images. So if I just pop my scrap piece of cardstock in there, so you can kind of see the size of this, it fits really perfectly kind of you know, in the screen here, but it's just gonna make things so much more convenient because I'm only stamping, you know, a handful of uh, stamps in here. And I don't have to kind of bring in my giant uh, stamping platform. So I'm really excited to uh, actually be using this mini misting. So I'm gonna just pop in a few of these uh, images. So I don't think I need kind of uh, too many of these. So now I've got all of the images that I think I'm gonna use. Um, and then I'm just gonna close the door of my Misty. And then we can stamp these up. I'm gonna use some Memento black ink because we're just gonna do a little bit of uh, coloring with our alcohol markers. So the other item that I did get for my birthday, but unfortunately it's not arrived yet, is a uh, refill for my ink pad because I do think it needs to be uh, re-inked now. So I'll show you that once that has been delivered. So now I'm just gonna close the door and I'm just gonna add some pressure just to stamp those images. I'm gonna stamp it just one more time just to get that sort of solid outline but already this is just so much easier to use. Okay, so there we got a nice black outline. We can go ahead and color these in with our alcohol markers. So for my colour, and you can see that I've already sort of started just colouring these in a little bit, and now I'm taking my brown grey blend, you can see I've coloured in one of the mice here, um, and I'm literally just going to colour these all the same. I really don't think they need to be kind of uh, too different. If you had like a big scene and you wanted some of them to be different, of course you could do that, but I don't want these to be kind of the main uh, element to my card. I really want that happy birthday die just to stand out as kind of that main uh, part of our card. So I'm just adding some really basic shading in here. What I really love about uh, these Lawn Fawn images is sort of the size of them. It means then if you're not that keen on kind of spending ages uh, coloring in your images, you don't need to because they are on the smaller side. Uh, it doesn't take very long and they're small enough where you don't have to do kind of tons of shading or detail and you can literally just do as much or as little as you like. So again, let's just add just a little bit of shadow in there. Sort of around his face. Then I'm going to 
take my brown grey shade, so this is the next colour down and I'm actually just going to colour in their belly just to be a little bit darker. And then again if I want to I can kind of go into that medium colour and just add a little bit of shading on there. So the last thing I need is just to colour in their ears. So I'm taking my pale pink blend. I'm just going to colour their nose and the inside of their ears. And if you want to, you could add just a little sort of cheek uh, dot there, just like that. But that's really all I'm going to do for the colouring. Again, I don't want it to be kind of too complicated because that's not the main uh, sort of aspect of my card. So there I've got all of my coordinating dies just held into place with some washi tape and then when I'm ready I can pop that through my die cutting machine. But because I've got an A4 size it means then that I can put more than one thing through at a time so I may as well uh, actually cut out our sentiment at the same time so that'll be done in the same pass. So I'm going to leave that just to one side and I'm going to take our happy birthday die just off the packaging. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is, so this gingham paper is going to be our background um, and what I actually want to do is die cut our sentiment from this paper as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is just trim this down so it's going to fit uh, on our card. So I'm going to trim this down to be 4 inch by 5 and a quarter inch. So I can keep these scrap pieces for another card project. So there I have uh, what is going to be my layer. And then, so I'm just lining this up with the marks on this mat. And I'm going to try and kind of get this as central as possible. So I'm happy with that. Once I've got my placement, I'm going to again hold this in place just with a few pieces of washi tape. So what I'm going to do as well is actually be stacking our uh, sentiment. So what I'm going to do is literally just pop this onto um, another piece of just plain white cardstock. I'm just going to hold that down with some tape and hopefully that's going to die cut through both of these layers. So now we can run our sentiment piece and our little uh, dandy mice through our die cutting machine. So all of my smaller images have die cut through because I can see that on the back. Uh, but I'm not sure what you can see here, but our uh, sentiment hasn't quite gone all the way through. So I'm actually just going to rotate that and we're going to run that through again. Okay, so let's take a look at this piece first. So let's just take off our washi tape nice and carefully. And I'm going to bring in just my little tray here because I want to keep all of these extra little inside pieces. So let's carefully... release this. So I just want to keep the pieces uh, that match that patterned paper. So I'm just going to pop those into there. Let's see if we can just remove our die. So there we have our pattern paper that our happy birthday has been die cut from so we want to keep that for sure. And then, so for this, I'm literally just going to uh, poke out, like I said, I just mainly want that patterned uh, paper sections, because we can just piece those bits back in. Okay, so we've got all of our pieces in there, we've now got our die cut, so I'm just going to go ahead uh, and just pull these apart. So we've got our top piece and then we have our stack as well. So what I'm going to do now is just die cut this several more times from this white cardstock and then we can stack up our sentiment. Okay, so I've got all of my pieces here where we can now bring our card together. So I've got my little uh, dandy mice up here. I've got my card front. I've got my uh, top piece for my sentiment, which is the same pattern paper as this. And then I've cut out that happy birthday to you die four times just from some white cardstock. And we're going to stack these together. So I'm going to do that bit first. Um, and I'm going to use the Lawn Fawn uh, glue for this. So I showed you again in my last uh, birthday haul video. Um, 
but I got this so we'll see just how well this works because normally I would use my Crafters Companion dotty tape pen uh, so I'm just trying to do lots of uh, little dabs of glue I think the control of this is going to probably take some getting used to um because i still don't use liquid glue kind of uh very often but we don't want it kind of splitting out the sides okay so there we have our first die cut with the glue over so now i'm just gonna lay this second one over it and we're just going to stack these together, one on top of the other. And it's just going to give us some really sturdy dimension. And by doing it this way, uh, it means that you're not having to fuss around with any sort of foam tape, any foam pads, where potentially um, you're going to be able to see it. So I'm really happy actually with that glue application. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and just add all of the other white layers on top of this. So there I've got my four white layers stacked and glued together. So this is quite sturdy so now what I want to do is just add in uh, our very top layer which is uh, from our patterned paper okay so I've got all of my glue on there so let's just add our very top layer so I've not really had any glue kind of spit out too much um, I've got a few bits just on this uh, kind of top layer here, but otherwise I think the glue has sort of worked quite nicely. I just need to practice with the sort of amount of pressure that you need to be able to get quite small dots. But there is our stacked sentiment. So that is uh, quite thick there now. And I'm just going to pop that to one side and just add some acrylic blocks to the top of it just to kind of make sure that all uh, areas are stuck down nicely and what we're going to do now is we're actually going to add our panel uh, to our card so just for ease for this bit i am going to use my dotty tape pen and i'm just gonna go all the way around the edge of this patterned paper And I'm going to add some adhesive to these kind of uh, middle sections that are still attached to this. So this is also another really great way of using up kind of your scraps. So if you have cut a sentiment like this from some patterned paper, rather than throwing that away, you could always keep it and create the kind of card we're going to create today. And you can kind of stack up the sentiment with different patterned paper or different colours, whatever it is that you like. So let's just pop our card uh, into place and then I'm going to add my patterned paper just a flat down onto there just like that if you've got any sections which is poking up over it just like that so we have got our background down nicely let's bring back in uh, our sentiment so what we're going to have here is just this really beautiful uh, stacked sentiment but it's out of the same patterned paper and now the next thing we need to do is just add uh, these pieces back in so then we've got all of the patterned paper in between so what I'm going to do is just add a blob of glue into each of these sections and then in between those A's as well Oh, and we just got a small section just there. Now we're going to have to do just a little bit of working out exactly where these pieces go. And then it's like a puzzle just putting it back together. And I'm just going to use my pokey tool to carefully get those pieces back in there. So there we've popped our last piece in. So I think this really makes all of the difference. So just take your time when you're doing this, um, just to get them in the right spot. So now I'm just gonna really carefully, I'm gonna lift this back up. So if you have any pieces that haven't sort of uh, stayed down, 
then you can just take those up as well, pop them to one side and we can pop them back in afterwards. Okay, so now we can actually pop some glue onto the back of our die and then we can get all of this in place. So let's make sure that's just in there nicely. Again, if you've got any areas that are kind of uh, lifting up, you can just add another kind of blob of glue to that. And then again, I'm just gonna pop my uh, acrylic blocks on top of this just to hold that down. So there's our really beautiful kind of dimensional uh, sentiment on there. So perfect with a sentiment this big. And you can see it's just got a lovely sort of bit of dimension, but it's really, really solid. So the last thing we're gonna do is just add uh, our little mice on here. Okay, so I've actually just die cut um, a couple of these sort of extra little pieces. Um, so I'm just going to add just a bit of glue to the back of this. Um, and this is then going to be little pieces that look like they're kind of floating away uh, from uh, this little guy's here. Because I kind of felt like I needed something like up in that corner so i've got three sets here which is just kind of going to make their way um across our sentiment so that is our finished card for today's video using a few different lawn fawn products so i really love how this has turned out so i wanted to do kind of a inlay stacked sentiment for a little while now and i think this uh sentiment is perfect for this because it just fits the card so lovely um that is kind of the main focal point but it's really kind of subtle because we do have a subtle patterned paper so i might try this again maybe with something bigger and bolder um something more patterned and we can really see kind of how well that comes out but it's really cute then just adding these extra little images in here to decorate around it i just think it finishes it perfectly so that is going to be it for today's video if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please do so so you don't miss out on any future videos so that's it for today thanks very much for watching and happy crafting